What is up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and today we are going to be installing a pair of patio speakers for a customer out here in McKinney. We're going to be using the episode speakers. I recommend these because they are actually weatherproof so you have the peace of mind of knowing that the speakers are going to withstand the elements. Really the extreme heat is what wears on the woofers out here in Texas but if you're up north you know it could be the the cold weather. Um, this is the SKU right here, ESAW350T IC6. These are six inch woofers and they are outdoor rated. You can hit them with the hose. Now, uh, we're also going to pair this together with the Sonos amp. It's 125 watts a channel. And if you're not familiar with Sonos, it basically just gives you the ability to stream your content straight to a particular zone or also expand on the system and have multiple rooms going at the same time. You can like group rooms together or play them independent however you'd like. It's all done through a mobile app, um, which is really cool. Check out our channel for uh, more inspiration on Sonos. We use it all the time. Um, but this particular combination I think is perfect for a patio. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work. If you look up here above my head, we have pre-wired locations from the builder ready to go. We're basically just going to be popping those plates out, cutting a bigger hole, and then putting our speakers in. Now, all of the wiring is terminating back here in the living room, which I'll show you in a minute. Customer also has a 5-1 in there, but uh, today we're just going to be installing the patio speakers and hooking up this amp. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thanks for watching. Oh, pretty white. Yeah, it's going away. White, gray, kind of. Yeah, these are paintable as well. Should you want to paint them. Make sure you get a professional to do it. Yeah. So you don't block the holes. Yeah, I'll say my name. <laughs> yeah. So those are all, all weather? All yep. Weather? yep, they're all weather. You can hit them with the hose. They're not going to get damaged. Push gold-plated terminals. It's a well-built speaker at a good price point. I use this a lot. Alright, we'll see you in a few. So the first thing you're going to do whenever you're installing a speaker into a pre-wired location is check where your stud is and then you can pop that box out. Stick it in there further. There you go, Corey. And then just pop that box out. There's two nails. One on each side of the box. So if you stick your screwdriver in there just right, it's pretty easy to pop it out. <coughs> now, once the box is popped out and you ensure that there's nothing blocking where the speaker is gonna go, then you're gonna draw your cutout template just uh, with a pencil. Okay, so you line up your cutout template right to the edge of the stud, and then you're gonna go ahead and trace it out just like that. Now this particular builder did a terrible job cutting in that box. So you see how there's like some extra lines right there. There's not a whole lot we're gonna be able to do about that. It's just one of those things where if you know it's cut a little sloppy and you know it's on the other side of the stud you know we do the best we can to cover it up but I, I don't think the speaker is going to cover that which i've already expressed that to the customer this one over here though looks pretty clean all right guys so this is the living room termination that i was talking about you can see home pro wired it um it's one of the major pre-wiring companies up here in dallas uh basically we're just going to pop this plate off and we're going to tone out our lines to the patio and then we're going to get that connected to our sono sam Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> All right, Corey did a great job of getting these cut out. Next step is going to be removing the blue boxes completely, as well as cutting our wires to length and then stripping them back and getting them ready to insert into the speaker lines. There you go, perfect. You, the only thing you want to do is just make sure you don't over torque it, you know? Right. Perfect. All right, and then your magnetic grill. All right, so once you get your 
speaker inserted into the ceiling with the tensioners, you're gonna put your magnetic grill on and voila, you get a nice clean finish. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. You can see Corey has this prepped. The wire is stripped back and ready to go. So now you can just insert those two wires, the red and black, right into the push terminals right here on the speaker. Like a glove. Yeah, you might have to give it a little punch. Yeah, you can see guys that little slit right there. We just can't really do anything about it. That's from the builder. That's not from us. They just overcut the box when they were installing it, which is what I was worried about. Um, but the customer is aware. So this is the final installation. You can see both speakers are looking really nice and clean. I like these in ceilings over the ones that hang off the wall just because they look really nice. Um, and it's more than enough for a small little patio like this. So the next thing that we need to do is tone out the lines, which are terminating here in the living room. You can see Grayson already got the wires pulled through and we're just gonna use a toner. You can pick these one of these up at Home Depot. They're about 70 bucks or so. And it just makes your life a little bit easier because it'll send a signal through the line and then you can determine exactly which speaker goes where and then connect it to your amp. This is the Sonos amp right here. You can see it has banana pins here on the back. It's got ethernet, HDMI arc, which is pretty cool. And then it's got inputs for RCA and a sub out as well. This is the pair button right there on the power cord. This is the newest model, newest version. And it's 125 watts a channel, which will be more than sufficient for what we're using out there. So oh, you just gonna stand in the Yeah, door. I'm gonna go stand at the doorway and Grayson's gonna tone these out. So you hear that sound guys? That is one of the speakers he was just toning out. Left one. So now we're gonna find the right one and get them connected to the amp. Okay, you can see we have our two lines connected to the amp and all of these wiring is for the 5.1 in the living room here. You can see there's six for some reason. There's actually six lines. I'm not sure why. Maybe he has another zone in the dining room or in the office, uh, potentially. But he can always expand on the system and add another one for that other zone, as well as he can add in a surround receiver for this room. So the next thing we're gonna do is have the customer create an account in the Sonos app. And within a few minutes, he'll have an account set up. We'll press this one button and he'll be online. I love Sonos, it takes about no time to set up. Probably about 10 minutes in reality. All right guys, just finished the install. You can see we got some audio playing right now. So you can go into the app as well and adjust your bass and treble settings. All right, well that's a wrap guys. Customer is very happy. Installation turned out perfect. If you would like us to do something like this for you, you live in Dallas, give us a call. Uh, if you would like to purchase any of these products, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. Uh, all my out-of-state customers, give me a call. We'll get these shipped out immediately. Both of these products we keep in stock and ready to go. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching. Yeah.